What's good, YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new Share Factory Studio. This is for the PS5. Just to show you guys, this actually is for the PS5, the PS5 controller. As you see, it moving back and forth. Like, this literally is the PS5. So this is a new Share Factory Studio. It's an upgrade to Share Factory on the PS4. If a lot of you guys did not know, I actually started YouTube because of Share Factory on the PS4. That was my first true video editing experience. So because of that, I want to kind of give back a little bit for the next generation and show you guys a little tutorial on how to use Share Factory Studio. So I've been talking for a while. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the whole tour. All right, so what's new in Share Factory Studio compared to PS4, there is a photo editor, which is pretty dope. So you can have like a new project. You can make memes and stuff as they have some examples right here. So you can make memes. Kind of pretty dope. I can see especially a lot of like young kids and stuff having a lot of fun with this. And then there's also a toolbox where you can import your own music, import your own videos and images and all of that. I do remember being able to import music. Last year's Share Factory, it's been years since I used the PS4 Share Factory, but I do not remember being able to import your own video. So this is actually something that's very dope. So you can import your own videos. The way that you import these things is from USB. They also have new creator packs and stuff like that. But now I'm just gonna show you guys the basics on how to use Share Factory. So in order to just start up a project, you're gonna go to new project and then you're gonna click on any one of these random themes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually use a theme for this video. I usually would just not use a theme, but I'll just click on one of them for this video to help you guys out. So we can do this metal one. So each one of these little theme packs is gonna come with an intro, an outro, and a title sequence. Intro is what happens at the beginning of your video. So it's gonna automatically have like a cinematic that'll be a cool little intro. This is what the intro looks like for this theme pack. You can go on full screen by clicking L2. So by clicking this button right here, which is the back trigger, you can go full screen. Like click R2 to click start. So this is what this looks like. It's actually a pretty dope cinematic, such so an HD, like that would be a hard thing to animate. It comes with some pretty dope cinematics, also has an outro, and then a little title sequence. And then to start your project, you're gonna click square, and then you can name it whatever you want. For the purpose of this video, I'll just name this test done name it whatever you want as you see it for the title sequence it has the title that i put for this video it also has my psn which is michael force yt and then my psn emblem so now we're going to get into the basics of actually being able to edit so in order to import a clip in order to import a clip you're going to click the x button everything is down there on the bottom left you see that down there where it says x square circle just a little rundown x is to add any clip square is to edit a clip so for example trim split that type of thing and then circle is to go back those are just the basics of what you need to know. And that's the basis of what I'm going to cover for this video. So in order to import something into Share Factory, you needed to have first record a clip. I have a video on how to record gameplay. It's already up on my channel, but that's what you need to do. You just need to first record a clip. Once you've recorded the clip and saved it, it will be in your media gallery and then you're going to import it into Share Factory through this. So you're going to be in Share Factory. Now you're going to click this X button. I hope you guys can see that. You know what I'm saying? The X button. Click that. So there's going to be all these different options. There's going to be add clip, add screenshot, add track add music all those type of things so I'm trying to add a clip so I'm gonna add this clip and then I'm gonna add this random clip that I just got from share factory so I'm gonna add this so now I've just added this clip you see these bumpers like L1 and R1 the top top things right here you can go immediately from the beginning of a clip or the end of a clip by clicking these so if I click L1 I'm gonna go all the way to the left I click R1 I'm gonna go all the way to the right now in order to trim let's say I only wanted from here on in this video clip I'll click the square button you see the square button? I'm assuming you guys know how to do shapes. <laughs> so I'll click square, and now I'll click split clip. Now I'll go to where I want to split it, now I'll click X, and now I'll click confirm. So boom, now these clips are split, and then because I only want this clip right here, I would delete everything before it. So I would put the cursor onto this clip. You can see at the bottom left where it says like trash can and all that. So you want to click square, which is going to be trash can, which is going to be delete, and you're going to click confirm. Choose so boom, I, now you see that clip has now been completely trimmed. That's one way you can, can shrink down clips. You can also choose to, to trim clips. In order to get out of the window that I just got, I just clicked circle twice. I clicked circle back until I saw the X being a plus again. If you're trying to get out of like a mode or whatever, like the edit mode, you just continually click circle until you get back to what you're used to. So now you're back to where you were before. The other way you can trim a clip is by actually trimming it. So you put the cursor onto the clip that you're looking for. You'll click square and then you'll go to trim clip. You see now, then you would use the left and right sticks to just trim it to where you want. So if I wanted it to be longer, I would go to the left, I wanted it to be this way. I'm just changing whatever. Let's just say I want it to be, I just want this, this part of the clip. 
So boom, now it's only that part of the clip that I just selected. So that's how to add and trim clips. You can combine clips this way. So if I had another clip, you can add another clip like this. Now I wanna add this clip, for example. This clip's gonna add directly after this one. So now I've combined the two different clips. This is how you can put together like little montages. If you have like some highlights, you put them together like that. That's how you do that. So that's just the basics of adding, deleting, trimming. Um, then you can also add music. So the way you would add music is you would click X and you go to add music. If they have music just in share fact, you already so i'm just gonna click this first one right here and so now you see i have the music playing so that's what the music would be that's how you'd add music if you want to actually move the music you would just click square because remember square is is how you edit so click square and you would go to move music and then you would just move it using the little d-pad so using this little d-pad right here you can either do it with the d-pad or you can use it with the right stick the right stick is going to be a lot faster so as you see like i'm using the right stick right now and it's just going like it's zooming or if you're trying to get like a precision then you would use this little d-pad so that's all you gotta do that's how you add music once again to get out of this i would just do circle back and now i'm all the way back if i wanted to delete the music that i just did i would go to square i'll click edit music now i'll go back to the screen and this is how also you just you could go back to the screen to move or anything and then i would click on it and then i would click delete music so that's how you delete music. So now I've shown you how to add clips. I've shown you how to add music. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to add transitions. So you're just gonna click X and you can go to add transition. They already have transitions built into the share factory. So I can choose this explosion. So as you see, it's gonna be transitioning in between here. Boom. That's a really dope tip. That's something that can really keep your, your viewers engaged if you're new to YouTube. So transitions are very big. Um, but yeah, they have some. They have a lot of new dope transitions in this though. Like I don't remember seeing all these different transitions and stuff. Like they have a car drift. Like, like look at this. Like, <laughs> like that's yeah, actually quick. dope. I don't even know if Final Cut so Pro just has those imported. Play. So that's you actually dope. Ahead. That's just the basics of Share Factory. And then there's also just some other basics that I'm going to show you guys. For example, how to zoom in. So in order to zoom into a clip, you just click square, get into this little mode right here. Then you go to pan and zoom and you would just zoom in like this. So with the left stick, you're able to like zoom in and out, like zoom closer in or zoom, zoom farther out. And then with the right stick is how you actually like move around. So if I want to zoom into just like that little pink um, thing to the left that has like the guy with the sunglasses, I would use the left stick, go all the way in, and now I would use the right stick to pan over this. And, now, and then when you're done, you just click X to confirm. And then boom, now it's only zoomed into that. And now you know how to add transitions, you know how to edit, you know how to move back and forth, and then you also know how to zoom. Those are all the basics I'm going to cover in this tutorial. I don't know how this video is going to do. I need to start making 2K videos. <laughs> I just want to get back to like the next generation of content creators because I know how big Share Factory was for me. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I hope there's like a, I don't know, there's like some 13 year old over there who's thinking about making YouTube videos who now knows how to use Share Factory. Like that would be dope. So I hope this helped you guys. Make sure you leave a like if you're new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button really means a lot you know i'm out here grinding it's my second video of the day only been awake for like two hours <laughs> but yeah without further ado i'm out peace, peace. <laughs>